Hello Cancer, thank you for clicking on my channel and welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I'm coming to you from Nova Scotia. This is your November love reading. Um, next out will be the monthly reading for overview for November. I think I'm going to do a year ahead for 2024 uh, for next month as well. So do check that out. Have a have a visit to the website. There's all kinds of goodies there. We're going to, uh, cards were pre-shuffled to save time. The head of the reading will affect all the cards here. We have the Seven of Swords, Deception. Or someone has left something behind. Um, loose ends that haven't been tied up. Maybe an excuse to come back. To revisit it. But maybe right now they can't handle it. It's a soulmate. So maybe there is a detachment here. Maybe this is even you, Cancer, deceiving yourself. The soulmate, this is reciprocity. A flow back and forth. A victory. Passion, a beginning, uh, something new beginning that's uh, passionate. Sorry, I just rushed ahead here because I was all excited. We've got the bookends, Justice and the Ace of Cups. And the heart of the reason, the reading, is the Fool and the Page of Cups. There's taking a leap of faith, you and this soulmate, into creating a new reality. Now, I strongly suspect that by November we've already been through or in the middle of a big world-changing event. Love conquers all. Now we two, two aces. This beginning, this feels like oh. <sighs> humanity, whether it's aware right now or not, is in the the thick of the big ugly. Though I think maybe by the time this reading comes out. It will have happened, this world-changing event or events. This at the heart of the reading, creating a new reality. Taking that leap of faith, you will not lose your balance. And you are supported by a soulmate. There's victory in this unity. Other people may be looking to you too for that um, reassurance. And perhaps this energy here, Cancer, is there are some things that, you know, are better left unsaid or some things you don't have to share everything. Uh, even though we're coming into a, a point of transparency for the world. There is a balance here uh, coming for a soulmate with a soulmate. Justice. This feels like... Whatever these chaotic things that are going on in the world, this is, feels like you're bringing things back, coming back into balance. And in that balance, creating this new world. There's something new beginning here. This could be a new love. This could be the outpouring of divine love to bless you and a union. The Ace of Wands <coughs> very much looks like Yeah, well, if it's a new new love, it's going to be passionate and full of a lot of emotion and deep, deep feelings. If this is a project of going into the new world with the one you love, your soulmate, it's something this project you could sink your teeth into. You're bringing balance back into this relationship. Or you're coming into a new relationship that is going to bring a lot of balance. Slow and steady wins the ra race. Something you thought you lost because you had to take that leap of faith. Seems like you had to leave something behind. But there is more coming to you. In other words, what you thought you lost, you have not lost. It comes back to you either in a different form. It comes back to you because someone had it in safe keeping for you. It comes back to you as a surprise. 
someone deeply loves you, deeply loves you, wants to create with you or procreate perhaps. Love will carry you through. Here is conflict. Now this feels like the outer conflict, you know, world events. This could be inner conflict as well. Um, and that would be natural for you, Cancer. You, you want your home and things in place and everything around us is in chaos. How do we go forward, especially through a collapse? How do we get um, a stability in our homes, come back to a semblance of normality, whatever normal is anymore? Because we're entering this sci-fi world. This honestly feels like um, there was a secret or there were some things that kept back. Like it, It's almost like I, I was going to share with you that I invested in this, but I was afraid I'd jinx myself. And now that it's coming in, it's coming in bigger and better. And, and it was best that I, I, I mean, I'm never about secrets. Transparency is everything, but now i'm feeling these energies of you know the secret society why did they hide so much from us why did this person hide so much was it so that they wouldn't jinx it or that if i told you that i hid what you thought you lost if everybody knows where it is everybody will take it you know what I mean? It comes back to you threefold. All right, the King of Wands, or the Knight of Wands. Could be that you thought your soulmate was being a player. This is a soulmate. Perhaps this person was in your life to take you to that next level. But the Knight of Wands is also about removing obstacles. So even if this was a player that was discovered, and uh, I'm not getting that feeling, but it very possibly in in one or more of your your cases that this was a player that took you to a next level of understanding of what you know love is. The Knight of Wands removes obstacles it could be someone is just racing in uh, to sweep you off your feet boy someone's racing towards you for sure and look this is about reciprocity money flow steady income perhaps uh, equal give and take between you and other and another this one's coming in to pour on you like give to you more than you expected like, it, this is going to feel a little overwhelming. This five of pentacles, things that you thought you lost, is coming back to you in a torrential wave of passion. All right, so you are going to be approached, Cancer, by, I think, more than one person. Um, people may be looking to you as a role model in the month of November. We'll see on your overview for November, but this is your love reading. Approachable. So, all right, no more secrets. Let's have it out and be victorious together. So this really does feel like an outpouring of truth and... and uh, humor I'm seeing humor you know um, like you're kidding really don't BS me you'll see through the truth to the truth you'll see any signs of it but this is this feels like an emotional even though this is a is not about emotion it's about communication it's about truth this feels like Good news is what it feels like. The past returns. Someone from the past returns. They want a new passionate beginning with you. 
justice. Well, here we are, going nice and slow, steady. The waiting that paid off. Collaboration. You're not jumping alone. You're jumping with someone else. Your soulmate is hand in hand. Let's do this together, baby. Taking control of your life, creating a new reality. Protecting that kingdom in its initial growth stages. Maybe this is why there was a little secrecy. Maybe this is why some things were kept back. Because you don't tell a child everything. It's too much for them to carry. There's protective energy here. The Wheel of Fortune or the Wheel of the Year. This is event mode. This feels like an old soul. This feels like the breaking of a cycle. That healing love. And this feels very divine, like an outpouring from above. The water wheel. Is there going to be a lot of tears of joy here? Which is kind of odd um, for me to see that because uh, knowing that humanity is in the thick of the, uh, the big ugly. And if they don't know it yet, I'm figuring they probably know it by November. This is about doing it, being independent. This is about blooming, coming into your own, taking your time. Something that was planted that is blooming cultivated, cared for, loved, patience. Look at that. Someone loves you deeply and has saved what you thought you lost. I remember once upon a time, it was about 30, 40 years ago, I used to sing in a church. And for reasons that was uh, out of my hands, there was it had a lot to do with um, the pedo word of uh, discovery in the church that was going on, you know, predators. And, I, you know, I was trying to address it and fix it. So I was excommunicated for it. And I took my music books and threw them in the woods. But my husband retrieved them and saved them for when I wanted to sing again. That's the feeling I get from this. This person is going to help you lay down these burdens. Perhaps they've been carrying them for you, what you thought you lost. They were carrying them for you, this person who loves you deeply. This person is also very wise to help you through this tower moment that pivotal moment in human history where everything changes and it may be scary for you, Cancer, but there's protection here, big time protection. Kind of weird that this isn't a love reading. It's kind of carrying over into, you know, the whole big picture, but I suppose everything is connected, isn't it? I, thought, I hope that helped you and help to prepare you. Um, love always finds the way, doesn't it? I did an afternoon delight reading on that. You might want to look it up in the, in the channel list. And of course, check the link below to take you to your astrology page, as well as other videos that are lined up for you. Most of it is free. To my subscribers, God bless you. And for those who haven't, I hope you do.
and I hope to see you again very soon. Bye-bye for now.